Hello, welcome back Halftime TV viewers and subscribers to another episode and I hope and trust everyone is enjoying their weekend so far. Now, today I'll be talking about an exclusive interview which was aired a few hours ago. Stephen Francis, the head of the MVP camp, um, he spoke with Nationwide News and that interview is available on YouTube. And I'll even go one further to leave the link in the description so you guys can have easy access to it. Before I go any further, however, Remember, smash the like button if you enjoy the content produced here at Halftime TV. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss an episode. No, Stephen Francis, he, he, he spoke and he didn't mince words any at all. He, he was asked a number of questions. And, and one of those questions is why he thought the Jamaican male sprinters have basically been, been um, regressing throughout the years and um he he spoke very candidly on that as well he he said he thought the the jamaican male sprinters were more interested in and this is me quoting him buying a, a, a toyota and and going flossing being able to floss week in week out day in day out and in comparison to the females he expressed that he thought the females made better career decisions whether it be training more whether it be thinking about the long term um that sort of thing and we, we we tend to see it more more often than not even outside of sprinting where young females tend to to focus more on their career uh, and the long term than males but um not going too far from stephen francis's interview what are your thoughts on these comments that that stephen francis made um jamaican male sprinters have failed throughout the years essentially since bolt because of bad decision making let us know in the comment section